I felt today. Come on. What? What? Come! Ah. As I sat there, there, there was a song in my spirit. I don't know if you know it. I know this song, but I don't know, I don't know the lyrics. Team prophets here, prophets, and the sign is your voice will echo like the voice of a trumpet. So, before I touch the scriptures, pipe for me. This song. Ah. 
Abo edite alome hura na asela. If a folk kere ulaide o tenabi, sakale sakale, sakale sakale, sakale sakale. Olaite. And now Holy Ghost. Find me the fourteen. The fourteen. The fourteen we spoke about. The fourteen prophets. Find me. Find me. Find me. Find me. At the count of seven. At the count of seven. At the count of seven. From the back to the front. From the back to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. It's a nice service. Bring them here. Bring them. Bring them here. Come on. They must be 14. If they are not 14, Ooh. bring her, bring her, bring her close, close. Ba, hold your money. Bring them, bring them, bring them. I see a brother. The one is like a burning fire. Okay, okay. Do it, do it, do it, or love me. I see a brother. Yours is like a burning flame. It's like a burning flame. When you find that brother, bring it for me. Why? Eh? He? La da ne uhusa. The ne ne abole abole o like apa. The only man crosses. Alpha five. Ah. We burn the world. Don't play. No. You sang for me yesterday, Abi. Everybody, you can excuse me. You sang for me yesterday. Who sang for me? Who back up? No, there was a brother that was in the congregation that was backing up. Where is he? Come, come. Ah, uh ah, -uh. Lawrence, why can't you fool me? Ah, ah, we born the world. We the fire of God. For there's a fire inside of me that is here. Ah, we born the world. Give me volume. Fire of time. Cause there's a fire inside of me that is able to burn the wall. You need lag is too small. You need lag is too small. Lagos state is too small. Lagos state is too small. Yeah, there's a fire inside of me that is able to burn the wall. Say I will burn the wall. I will burn the wall. We the fire. The fire. Yeah, there's a fire. There's, there's a fire. fire inside of me that is able to come. I saw it. I don't I can't see a brother here. There's a brother among them. The fire will catch you now. Now now. I will count to two. When you find that person, bring him. There's something for me. I want to give him. One, two. What's I find that person now? Say fire! Shaba kapa kapa! Burn! 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 We the fire of God. There's a fire. There's a fire inside of me. Now, my son, my son. River, 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 overflow. Mighty river, overflow. Let me bring that brother on white. I don't know if that's white or that guy. Bring him. Look at 
Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Jimmy, 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 Adaba. Take it. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Jimmy, 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 Bring him up. I give you the real thing now, the real thing. I like to teach. But well, I still see four trumpets, four trumpets. And unfortunately, I see them at that back. At that back. Can you hear me at the back? Can you hear me? I see four trumpets, four trumpets, four trumpets, four trumpets. I want to teach, but... It's not me, it's Pastor Joshua. I'm waiting to open up. I love my love, I love my love. 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 My God, I got. God just told me to teach you. Let me bring that brother. That one on green. Bring it. They have no rest. I want you to rest. My 
angels just came now. I just saw them. They just said that now. Abona, Abona, Kebo, hey! My angels just said that. He's about to get radical. Oh my God! Oh my God! Everywhere in the auditorium, front or the back. Everywhere in the he's about to get dramatic. Everywhere, everywhere. He's about to get dramatic. They are radical ones. So the priests of God are here.
Touch the Bible. Can we pray? Say, I contend for power. Now, Zakob, I contend for power. I contend for power. I contend for power. I contend. I contend. If you are desperate here, can you raise a card? Say, give me power. Power. You can't do. You can't bear the cost.
Bolu, bolu. There are 14 evangelists. I see another 14. 14 evangelists in this one. 14, 14, 14. Find me the sister. Fast. Oh, there's it. That's all going on. We need to stop it. We need to stop it. Oh, where's sister? Oh. Oh, yeah, wah, 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 wah. Open your hand. Open your hand. Where's she? Open your hand. Touch an oven, an oven. Touch an oven. And cast it out. We disband communications. We break communications. We break interaction. Interaction broke. Up. Communication broke. Up. We break it. We break it. We break it now. We disband communication. Don't leave until you are sure it has left.
I have to teach. And even if it's five minutes. Ah. Oh God. First Timothy. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. First Timothy 1, 18. First Timothy 1, 18. It's a, it's a very short chart. I don't think, I, I strongly believe God is not done because I still feel very full. I feel very full. Very full. Very full. And I don't want to live here full. I want to live here totally spent. Totally exhausted. I want to live here and go on a retreat. So, to, no, I spent myself in this area. Okay, first Timothy. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. It's a short chart. Is it on the screen? This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before thee, that thou mightest walk a good war of warfare. You will rise with me as I charge. This was Paul talking to his son Timothy, saying to his son, Guy, listen. You will be strong. Your tongue will burn men. I'm not joking. Ah! You will be strong. I saw you. So your tongue will burn men. I don't even know you. Now your brother. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Your tongue will burn men. Ah. Uh. You know what I speak about is the 2018 version of Apostle Michael Oroko. That one that speaks and everybody is burning. Your tongue will burn men. This was Paul talking to his son Timothy. Saying to Timothy. That, listen, my guy, there's a prophecy over you. And prophecies does not end as prophecy. For prophecy to become a reality, there's something you must do. You must war with prophecy. Every time God speaks to you, I know many among us and God have said great things about us in our chambers. Prophecies remain prophecies, except you go to war with them. Our generation does not care if God told you that you are the next in line. What our generation wants to see is the manifestation of the things that God told you in secret. No one cares. We don't give a damn. But that's even not even where I'm going to this morning. I stand as one that I'm certain that God has an assignment for me in this generation. There's a strong prophecy and a great prophecy over us as a people. We are that generation. Let, no, oh, Jesus. Don't argue it. Don't deny it. We are that generation. And the, but there's every possibility that God can wait and he'll wait for our children. I need to tell you, if in case you've seen it all that realm, I have seen a little. And for every time I stand and I, I hear Kura, every time I stand and I go very high, what I see, I see a sofa making a clarion call that revival comes, revival comes, revival comes. I stand as that prophet that says revival is at hand. Revival is at hand. There's a prophecy over us as a people. And our responsibility as I feel the anointing. I feel it strong on my left hand. We are that generation that prophecy sits over. That revival beckons. Revival beckons. Revival beckons. I said yesterday is not a game of number, it's a game of stature. It might not be many that God will use, but the few that God will use, one shall stand like Shama, another shall stand like Eliasa, another shall stand like Adoni. One man is confiting 800. One man fighting against 300, 300 with a spear. Bible says Shama fought 
onto his hand, onto his hand cleave to the sword. How can a man fight to the point where his hand will cleave to the sword? Even when he was not willing to fight again, he could not leave the sword. He became one with his weapon. We are that generation. I sound an alarm today. This meeting is an alarm for everyone to wake up. Leave this meeting and go and lock yourself. Do crazy retreats. Stress yourself like you've never before. My father and Lord will tell me, you say, for every time you want something you've never seen before, do something you've never done before. For every time you want a result you've never seen, do something you've never done. Pray in a way you have never prayed. There was a point in my life where I needed, I needed a result. And, and I mean result. I pray long, maybe 10 hours, but never stretched for 12 hours. Guess what I did? I said I was going to stretch for 12 hours every day for two weeks. And I shut the door. Every day was dry fasting for two weeks. On like the sixth day of that retreat, the sixth day, I began to see the mortar realm tangibly as a man will see a man. I lie not, God my witness, angels walked out of my wall, in my room. The first thing I saw was a demon, actually. It was a demon I saw, I think on the third day. It was like a goblin, it was tall. My room is nine feet tall, it was tall and his head reached the roof of my room. I switched prayer, I did warfare. But on the fourth day, I began to see mortal beings, angels. I would see them tangibly with my eyes. They walk out of the wall. And sometimes they come, when they come, they hold something like a betting and they give me, I stake it. Only in my room, I pray, I, I get slain. When I'm tired, I stand up again. I pray enough hours, I get slain. These things we do in public, they are, they are realities of the things we encounter the secret to. I lie not. Then I realized that if indeed you want something you, you would never seen before, do something you've never done. No one would see me outside. I was not chatting anybody for two weeks. Two weeks. No interaction with man. Then I was with my mom. My mom always come and bang the door. She would say, Kilo she, Kilo she, daddy, daddy. She would say, Oh, Rune, call him and go away. And it's because I want to break my fast in the midnight. She said, It's only plates. You'll be clashing plates. You want to cook in the midnight. What? I, I, I will not respond. All she will hear is sounds of groaning. The young man knows he has a destiny. The young man knows he has a call. You won't stand before God to say why I didn't fulfill my call. It's me that will stand. So you will not stop me. Every night, every day, I stand my here. If you have called me to this generation, put something on me. Those are my prayers for two weeks. Eight years we say, he will tell God those days that don't send me like this. If you send me like this, we will compete. Everybody has what I have. What I've got, give me something unique. Indeed, he has something unique. If AGS come here, you know AGS is here. You can't deny. It looks as if there's a battalion of angels that are attached to him. All he needs to say is, praise the Lord. Everywhere begins to reverberate to the echoes of his voice. What a man. Indeed, God gave him something unique. I heard that and I, and I locked myself. I said, give me something unique. Everybody in my generation have, have what I have. Give me something that others don't have. I have a call. Do something tangible upon me. It's a great prophecy over us as a people. I mean great. We are that generation. Great fathers prophesied it. It's not a game of numbers. I beg you. Do not juxtapose. Do not measure yourself with other persons. Do not say because, hey, I, you, you could be that one out of thousands. Do not say because others are not rising. You choose not to rise. Timothy, there's a prophecy over you. Paul didn't write to anybody he wrote to Timothy. Brother, you could be one of us that God has great plans with to rattle, to damage this generation. If by chance you don't take your place, another will take your place. The Bible showed us that when to when that fell, they elected somebody. They say it's bishopric. Another should take. It's an alarm I came to sound. We are that generation. The heavens look to us and the angels ask, are you the one? Oh, she waits for another. Are you the generation that the father spoke about? Great fathers, such as I am about that. I, hey, listen, age is, should not be a limitation. You are not young. I may not have heard about the revival in 1930. It's surging 1930. I may not have heard of it. It's surging 1930. That was pioneered by the great patriarch, Ayo Babala. Guess how old Ayo was? Pa Ayo was 26 years old. He received the call when he was 25 in 1929. 1930, shattered the nation. Scattered everywhere. From then, a revival sprang in the east also. The Assemblies of God revival. 
they will say, Babala will stand on the mountain in, in, in Lorraine and he will speak and thousands will hear him. The same testimony such as Jesus had. The Bible says Jesus will speak, 5,000 will hear him at once. And your Babala had the same testimony. These men are not our mates. These men are... They, they, and I need to tell you, should I, should I give you sh the most shocking news today? Are you with me? Should I give you the most shocking news today? The most shocking news today is that in the eyes of heaven, these men are weak compared to what God promised us. When Babala was he died, they said he gathered his sons and he said they should sit down and they should start writing. Everything that happened to our nation, Babala wrote it. He said it. The prophecies of piety about the nation going into darkness and coming into righteousness, Babala said it. But Babala did not end his prophecy until he said, he said, he see a generation that will rise. That everything they did will be dwarf relative to what that generation will do. I, I can't, is my, can, can you hear me? I, 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 the question is, are we that generation? Men of God, I see us, we are here. Two more minutes. All right. I see us, we are here. My generation is blessed to have you. And that's fact. I'm blessed to be part of this generation. Which is to say I'm blessed to be part of you. But I say to you, are you the one? Or should we wait for another? Should we wait for another? Should we wait for your children, man of God? Are you the one? Or should we wait for another? We are that generation that prophecy spoke about revival looms. Revival looms. Great men have risen from this soil and they control the entire globe. I heard about Archbishop of Benson that he will be called from Nigeria to nations far in Europe and he will be called to come and open their heavens. They will say for years they have not had rain. Benson, we hear you a rainmaker. Come and make rain. And Benson comes and he unlocks the heaven casually without prayer. He says rain fall before night and he leaves. No, 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 just a rainfall. An entire nation waits for the utterance of a man to come to pass. And indeed, like Elijah, rain falls. Like Elijah, when he speaks everywhere, thunders. What a man. I was speaking in my last camp meeting. I said a story about Christopher that many of you don't know. It's a story that is called Mass Resurrection. He was holding a crusade. And then, uh, electric pole fell. And people died in their numbers. And as Benson was coming in his car, they told him that, People don't die. All he said is, What nonsense! And he came out and dead bodies stuck back. Find this tree is there. They, they, it is called mass resurrection. One man brought back people back to life in their numbers. One man. One, I swear to God, I won't do less. Till I bow my head out of this world, I won't do less. I will keep laboring until my head carry oil. All these things are tight play. This is not what God called me for. He called me for something greater. Something weightier. Something more tangible than this. I'm warming up. I've not come. When I arrive, you know. I will come with chariots. The mortal realm will be my support. I won't stop until I'm popular among the spirits. When I speak, the mortal realm gathers together. And they make sure they come to the aid of my utterance. We are that generation. And I leave you with this chart. I didn't leave full. I didn't leave empty. But there's no time. Time don't finish. If you leave this meeting, remember my words that we are that generation. Prophecy hangs on us, and our responsibility is to war, war with prophecy. I won't stop, I won't do less than the great Archbishop Benson did. It's not ambition, it's prophecy. I'm not ambitious. I read it in the Chronicles of Prophecy that young men and women will rise. Young men and women will rise from the soil of Nigeria. From Nigeria and they shall disciple the globe. They shall disciple the globe. Nigeria is that nation that apostles call God firstborn in Africa. We are like the new Israel. They are that nation that everyone looks up to and say, can you preserve my promise? Can you preserve my prophecies? Can you travel with the fire that I will keep in your bosom? The fathers we saw before, men like Archbishop, men like Ayababola, men like Obadare, they are a witness to several other men that will rise like them. They are not the real thing. They are just a sign that great things can come from your nation. He brought the weakest of men. He brought the weakest of men. Bababala from Elon, Archbishop from Benin, the least place you expect great men to rise. Elon is known for Islamic religion. Benin is known for his witchcraft. The, the least place you expect that God will come to. That's where God came through for. 
those men are assigned to us. That greatness locks in our nation. I don't know about you, but I testify that I'm one of those men. I am one. Akiwande Philip Okiki Jesu is one. I won't bow my head out of this world until I do everything that is written about me in prophecy. I won't bow. I won't pass out. I won't pass out of this world. I won't die until destiny is fulfilled. Is that your mantra? Is that your mantra? Yeah, yeah.